Hello and welcome to another of my YouTube videos and today I thought I'd talk about the radio in my Kia e-Nero 2020. Um, we start off we've got the screen set to the map. If we press the radio button some high risk offenders in England and Wales that will take us to what I call the standard radio screen and takes us back to the last radio station I was listening to. I've turned the volume down to make sure I don't infringe on any recording uh, rights. As you see I've got it set up already, um, having the car for quite a time, it's, I've done this, but I thought if you're getting a car and you want to set the radio up for your own liking you might like to know how to do it and um, we've got the menu and if we start off with um, a set number of favorites we've got a choice of 10 20 30 or 40 it doesn't really make any difference if you've got it set at 40 as i have put your favorites into the ra into your radio selection you've got list and we've got two ways of listing we can list by station or we can list by program type um, genre and we've got lots of varied we've got varied sports rock music religion pop music There are other genres, believe me. News, basic music, jazz, culture, country, and classical, and children. What's available to you will, of course, vary on where you live in the country. I think most people, they will choose by station. If you've got a station already selected, you'll have a star now you may notice this little strange icon that's come at the top this allows you to scroll quickly from top to bottom but personally i prefer scrolling through just tapping the screen gently so if we want to add a particular radio we can just tap and we can put it in and we can put in BBC Somerset and if you don't like a particular station that you've accidentally selected you can just tap on it again and remove it A split screen. Split screen just allows you to have a smaller radio selection and your charging your state of charge at the car. If we go back We can manually tune FM and um, we just tap and it stops on the next station. We can go back to the standard screen and of course I should have mentioned that we can scan through all the radio stations by just pressing scan if we want it'll just play you a little bit of the music and you can see in the 
Meantime, of course, the radio stations are going to be displayed on the binnacle as well. We can go to the band, we can go to AM, and again we can scan through and in the standard radio station which i call this the standard setup we can auto sort the favorites and that'll put the stations into basically alphabetical order you can rearrange your favorites by just tapping and that will swap the radio stations so if you just want to move one to the top of the pile it's going to take a long time to to do it we can d delete some favorites so if we Now we've deleted some, we've got some holes in our menu, but of course we can go back to auto sort and that'll fill up the radios, the holes in the selection again. We can select to have traffic announcements if we want. Not a particular favourite of mine because normally I'm operating in pretty rural uh, situations where the traffic announcements aren't really going to bother me. They're going to be normally talking about places 30, 40 miles away. But if I'm going on a long trip using major roads, perhaps I would use it. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll use sound settings and in a second. Okay. Now we've got the basic radio set, um, display there. If we favourites again, we get what I think is a much nicer display. And you can select a radio station, but that takes you back to the standard display and you've got to go back through. However, if you select the radio stations using the steering wheel, we can go back down through the selection or up on the screen, or we can go back down on the stations and of course once we're doing this is actually coming up on the binnacle in the as you can see it's displaying radio 3 now radio 2 which is quite nice because you don't have to take your eyes off the, ro the road directly ahead you can concentrate more than have to move your eyes across to the radio screen. Various ways of using other media on the radio. We've got the Bluetooth audio, USB music, USB video. At the moment the my phone has automatically connected to the car with Bluetooth. So And we'll listen to a bit of royalty free music that I have on my phone. So we'll turn the volume up using 
the steering wheel. We can swap between tracks by flicking on the track selector like we did for the radio. We can mute by just pressing the volume bar in and you see the mute bars come across the speaker. We can unmute by pressing or by just raising or lowering the volume. We can select other sources and I've plugged in my USB. And this is coming from my USB stick now. And again, you can change tracks using the steering wheel or the screen. If we go back to media, we can actually watch videos. Stop it. And we've actually got quite a few familiar components that you'd find in an internal combustion engine. We've got the brake reservoir there and we've got a minimum and maximum. Something you might not expect to find on an electric car, the coolant uh, level. And this is not for the engine, but for the battery. And as you can see, we've got an excellent quality video on the screen. I'm really very, very impressed with this. As I don't actually have a home charger, I'll probably be spending quite a bit of time at rapid chargers topping up my e Nero. And I can see that this could while away the time quite happily. Okay, so I think I've shown you pretty well all of the basic settings. We'll go back and have a look at the sound settings. We'll go back to the USB music. So we've got some royalty free music. Right, I'm not too sure how this will come out on my video, but believe me, it does move the origin of the sound apparently around quite noticeably. I'll turn the volume up a bit. Don't really need it very loud at all. We'll move it forward. And believe me, it has moved forward. Move it to the right. And seem to be coming just from the front right hand corner we'll move it across and it's now coming from the left hand corner if we move it to the back yes definitely coming from the rear left hand side near side moving across to the rear right and there it is coming from all angles at the car volume levels. To my ear these sound set quite high. I feel they're probably set for the ice cars or the hybrids but we'll listen to it anyway. This is the default setting. <laughs> actually is quite loud enough. Voice recognition guidance. 
Guidance will be at this volume. Guidance will be at this volume. Guidance will be at this volume. To my ear, 16 is probably the good one there. Messaging. Guidance will be at this volume. Guidance will be at this volume. And again, 16. And navigation. Guidance will be at this volume. Guidance will be at this volume. And that's all you've got basically there. Um, as I said earlier, in earlier videos, I don't connect my phone to the uh, cars. I find it a great distraction. So I'm not going to be worried too much about that. Again, seems to me to be um, something for the ICE cars and the hybrids. Uh, we've got speed dependent volume control. The noise you get as a car gets faster is not really that great in an electric car, but it's set at medium and I'm going to leave it there. We've got an equalizer, which does seem to be a little bit difficult to record. Uh, believe me, it does have massive effects on the um, sound. But I've this is this is probably the fifth or sixth attempt I've had at trying to produce this video, and I'm not particularly happy with demonstrating this. But we'll. Give it a go anyway. There's a definite slight increase in the thump with the bass at top. Bass at the minus 10 definitely sounds quite tinny. Mid range. That does make it sound a little bit more pure. And at the minimum setting, it does sound a little bit muffled. Treble. A little bit more pitchy. And my ears that sounds a little bit more muffled again but I'm no music connoisseur. Kia have used JBL for the sound in this car and I must admit I'm very very impressed with it. Got the volume ratio which We've got the volume ratio, which has navigation prioritized, uh, proximity warning, uh, navigation during phone calls, which is unticked, and volume limitation on startup. Probably the volume limitation on startup is what I would consider one of the most important if you'd lent your car to a friend or partner and they had the volume blasting away when they left the car. You won't have a heart attack when you turn the car on because the volume will be set to the default setting. Navigation volume. We can mute the navigation guidance, which actually probably is one of my favorites. Um, map screen volume buttons. And we've got the map screen button or volume knob, which means the navigation volume is adjusted with the volume button on the map screen or turning the volume knob during prompts. And we've just got the default where we can set everything back to factory settings. So we'll do that. Okay, and 
I think that's pretty well all the radio settings that we have. If you found this interesting and you've enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up like icon, share it with anyone you like. And if you want to comment, please do so. I respond or I try to respond to every comment that's put on. And of course, if you've not already subscribe, many thanks. Bye.